Okay, so now I am at Tempus Arena and I'm going to shoot my Norwich Gen 2. Well, it's uh, mounted as it's supposed to do and I'm going to chrono it. It fires. Yep. This is the maximum one Yule version. Let's see what it says. Mm -hmm. So you can see the numbers too. 0 0.8 Yule. Do not have the finger there. Oops. 78 Yule. 78, 0.79, 0.8, 0.78, well, 0.79, 79, it is very stable, that's good. And this is the unprogrammed version so far. So I, right now I have it on or an ordinary semi and the full auto should just be full auto. So let's see here. Yep, and now full auto. This is a P90, so it has the two stage trigger. I can show it here if you have a little bit better lightning. The two stage trigger on the full auto is, you see there, semi, again, semi, it just does one shot, but on auto, if you pull it slightly, you get one shot, and then if you bottom, bottom out the trigger, you get full auto. So you can go to full auto immediately if you want to, of course, or semi semi with a little bit of fine finger and then full auto if you wish to. Nice. I'll do the reprogramming soon. We're about to start the uh, rules engagement here and I have to be present for that. So see you later. Uh, let's see now how this gun shoots. This shoots straight. It does, it does shoot straight. I don't know if you can see the, uh, the traje trajectory, but this one, yep, this one shoots straight. As I mentioned in my unboxing video, my other Norwich actually shoots crooked from start, from assembly. It only goes straight about 15 meters, then it wears off right. And honestly, yet again, I don't think that's good for a gun in this class of... But this is dead straight. Nice. Good. I'll have to adjust the hop a little bit later. For now, it's time to recharge, rehydrate and go and restart the game. See you soon. Rud! Snyggt träffad! Bra! Snygg tray då! Nice! Ja. Det är fusk att använda granat! Dörrad! Let's go. 
Jaha, jag försöker mounta mitt magasin upp och ner. Så, bra jobbat. Rakt fram på vänster sidan. Vänster sida på rakt framåt en fi. Röd. Flaggan är nu andra sidan ändan av huset. Here's one thing we have to uh, address. I don't know if it's like this with other guns, of course, but during a briefing, a friend of mine alone um, borrowed the P90 and gave it back to me uh, not on safe. Yes, of course, gun safety demands that we always give it back on safe, but this time it happened to be that I got it back not on safe. And when I went to put it down on the floor next to me, this happened. Let's try and have some light here. This happened. You can actually slam fire the gun. It's enough momentum in the trigger package that you can slam fire the gun. And so luckily that was during a safety, or not safety briefing, during a game briefing. So we were all masked up, so we were all protected, so it was no worry. But it still was, was a misfire because I didn't have the finger on the trigger. I slam fire it. That's interesting. I don't know if other guns can do that. I haven't tried any of my other guns. But since I can have sensitivity on the trigger, I do guess it has something with the trigger to do. And this is on uh, semi. Let's try it on full out and see if I can, if I can slam fire it on full out or two. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> so, as you've seen by this, time uh, I played an entire day with the two with the, the gen 2 p90 I didn't get to play with the gen 1 because it was a truly hectic day great day and um, I genuinely didn't switch to the gen 1 because I know how the gen 1 um, behaves in that arena and um, I must say still I do love the response in the gun. I didn't even um, actually activate the pre-cocking. I played the entire day uh, in standard mode. So I just had normal semi and normal auto. Although I didn't use auto, of course. Um, and it's still very, very uh, rapid in its response. Um, I feel that it's much quicker response in it than my normal cheap P90. Um, might be uh, just the MOSFET and the stronger neodymium motor. That's one of uh, Norwich selling points for the uh, P90. It is a stronger, more torquey motor, uh, they say. I haven't opened this yet, so I can't verify it, but I'll have to go by what they say. And uh, probably my um, cheap P90 has a normal, a little bit weaker motor. So, sure, uh, I guess it can um, l deliver those shots quicker and the MOSFET helps uh, getting the current out there uh, as, the, as it's supposed to do. So what 
is my final verdict for this uh, surprisingly long video. If you stayed with me this long, I thank you very much. Uh, subscribe and like and all that shit uh, and everything those really cool YouTubers say. Uh, it might be visible to you in the camera. This is my Gen 2 and this is my Gen 1. I can see it in the glare here that this one is much more still not rubbed on. This is a little bit more rubbing and such, but it still doesn't have any real scratches. And I can't say I'm really that um, gentle with my guns all the time. A little bit of rubbing there. Well, no matter what. And this is my all day Gen 2. As you see here, it's more engraved, embossed P90 markings. So, what is my final verdict to get back to the point? Well, since I do have a Gen 1 and a Gen 2, I can do a full side-by-side -side comparison of them. And honestly, well, um, the Gen 2 is sold with the um, extra uh, commercial, the, the um, well, forgive me for not finding the correct words. The selling points that they use to sell the Gen 2 over the Gen 1 now is that they have improved build quality, enhanced gear strength, remodeled transparent magazines uh, for better fitting in the gun, arrow marked hop-up adjustment for clear directions, P90 deep engraved on the receiver, various colored accessories, and an expanded spare parts list. Well, let's break that down point by point then. Improved build quality. Um, I did show you, they still both have the problem with a cracking, well, not cracking, but splitting seam here. It doesn't have any kind of uh, retention clip or screws or anything. You can just pry these apart. As I showed, if I take away these. Oh well, look at that. That did sit a little bit harder, my Gen 2, but my Gen 1. It's just... Whoopsie daisy, what do you know? But sure, I... Nope. Not even with extra force without going bananas on it. Sure, okay, I'll give that half a point. But as you see, the seams here are not pretty. Very rough course with a lot of these extra plastic molding on it. Both my Gen 1 and Gen 2 has that sprue mark also. So, half a point, but just barely. Enhanced gear strength. Well, I have to take his word for it, or the company's word for it. I do not intend to uh, overuse this gun. I will run it as it comes from the factory, with under one Joule, as you said, uh, as you saw. It's 0.8 Joule, perfect for my arena, and uh, where I'm gonna play with this, I tend to stick to 1 Joule maximum arenas, maybe 1.1, and I will still have my 0.8 Joule gun, perfect for me. So, enhanced gear strength, okay, I'll have to take your word for it. Remodeled transparent mags uh, for better fitting and easier to see the uh, bullets in it. Uh, well, I have to admit I did do a little boo-boo here. I perhaps can uh, edit in extra later, but um, I 
must admit that during the day I did actually see that. These are three King Arm P90 magazines, as you see here, I hope. King Arms made in Hong Kong. King Arms made in Hong Kong, all three. <clears throat> uh, I am pretty sure still that this one is actually the one that came with the Gen 1 gun because I do remember it having King Arms markings. So this is the original magazine he sent with Gen 1 and the Gen 2 that's not here right now are actually a little bit more easy transparent to see how much bullets you do have in it because during the game day uh, it's actually hard to see how much bullets you do have left so that's a point for him but here we go actually about that bonus material about that um, clearer magazine I've just shot a lot of bullets and as you see I can physically see that I only have like three shots left and there we go so yes the Gen 2 magazines clear plastic or clearer plastic is a true improvement that I have to really admit but for better fitting mm, okay half a point as I showed you when I opened the package it did uh, seat better but during the day I did experience um, bad seating so I did have to do my little extra dance that click let's try this one just for the heck of it that went in no it didn't also that little yank backwards let's try the third one no also so all the three king arm magazines do not mount or seat in the magazine well uh, in one motion you have to do the little pull backwards but for me it doesn't matter because I am so used to it now since I've been playing with the P90s for so long so it's uh, muscle memory for me uh, but sure I'll give him that point too arrow marked hop-up adjustment for clear directions well can't deny it here's my gen 1 no arrow and here's my Gen 2. Hop that way. And yes, I have to admit that helps a lot because I think I have... No, I haven't scratched it in on this one, but I did it on my um, cheap P90. I scratch a little plus and minus. You'd be surprised how often, at least I, do have to think about which way do I add hop and take away hop. So to actually have that little added hop arrow, yeah, okay, calling it a Gen 2 because of that little detail, eh, but still, good addition. P90, deep engraved on receiver, yeah, sure, here it is just laser engraved, it's not even, I couldn't even feel it with my nail if I want to actually, well, hardly here it is really embossed into it it's in the uh, in the mold now fine various colored accessories yes as you saw I have already showed you all the uh, pink accessories that I bought uh, and also it's available in gold and at the speaking moment they are actually all nearly 20% off. So if you are thinking about buying accessories for your Norwich SSR 90, a colored accessory, go for it. Right now it's on a really uh, low uh, discount from 20 to 25%, I think. So it's the uh, 
quick detach point, it's the trigger, it's the handlebars, it's the entire bridge here, and also the um, uh, muscle hider, muscle uh, slash hider, muscle device, and that little weird shroud thing if you want to do a long barrel that I don't want to, and also the uh, minimalistic approach where you exchange this whole part for just a little rail bit here and a little bridge there so you just slide over it will be shown in another video so yes but gen 2 because of that no uh, and a little detail also it, it, it felt like he um, meant that he further designed something on it but I see absolutely no difference in the design I do however however see the difference in design parts here and there compared to the cheap P90 and that's one of the selling points for me also actually on the Norwich P90 I do love this design somehow it just has that little teeny tiny change of design compared to the ordinary generic P90s that I personally love. Will you love it? That's up to you, but I love it. Um, one thing I also saw um, regarding that um, expanded spare parts list. Well, yes, he has expanded how many spare parts are available to buy from his website. Uh, and Gen 1, Gen 2, it, that doesn't matter, it's still the same gun on the inside, so that's just a little more, more pillow fluff actually for the selling point of the Gen 2. Um, but it, he does have, or it does have, 8mm steel bushings in the gearbox. It doesn't run on um, bearings. It runs on bushings instead, an 8mm instead of the normal, I think that's 6mm if I serve my memory right. So, sure, that's a good thing. So, would I recommend <coughs> anyone? Is the Gen 2 magically better than the Gen 1? No, no, it isn't. The only two really substantial things of the Gen 1 and the Gen 2 that I, the end user of a under one Yule gun, has discovered and liked, you can replicate yourself at home. Well, one of the two things you can replicate at home, true. It's the hop-up arrow. And you can just do a little engraving of that yourself here. And it's done. The P90 Deeper Embossment of the markings, pure cosmetics, uh, not a selling point for me. So do you have a Gen 1 and really feel, oh, I do want a Gen 2? Nope, don't. Actually, no. If you have a Gen 1, you are good to go and when the uh, gears give up, buy the new gears for the spare list then. If you don't have a Norwich SSR 90 at all uh, and do love 90s as a gun, if you don't have a P90 at all, would I recommend you to get the SSR 90? Yes. What you might encounter is the same problem as I have on my Gen 1 compared to the Gen 2, the wonky hop-up. But most of us airsofters, we know how to fix that. I haven't fixed that yet because it hasn't really affected my gameplay. Mm, the bullets for me curve after 15 meters. The uh, approximate fighting distance we have in my arena are 5 meters. So I just haven't bothered to fix my hop up here yet. And that's also one thing you can fix for yourself. I mean, if you know how easily you break down a P90... That's it. That button. That button. 
slide out. Here's your hop-up unit. It's a bayonet fixing. You just turn it and you have your whole barrel. That's it. So you can take this apart, exchange the rub rubber and fix it for yourself. I just haven't gotten around to it because it didn't matter for me. So, if you own a Gen 1 and want to have a Gen 2, uh, if you happen to have the budget as I did at that moment, go ahead. Would I recommend you now that I have done it? No. You can buy the magazines, spare parts from him. You can buy the gears from him as spare parts. And you can add the little hop-up arrow yourself. And that's my conclusion uh, of the entire gun. I still do love it though, and I must say that's not something I have said before here, but I will end on this. I generally don't even like Norwich. I'm sorry, no, I don't like Norwich. Uh, something about how he started, how that whole company started with just rebranding some guns, adding something and selling it a lot more expensive and for those starting years hearing all about how all those upgrades actually wasn't upgrades how they were badly put together it didn't have good quality checking he still doesn't have good quality checking on the guns I have several friends on the arena that has his pistols it's a real 50-50 toss-up if it's a good gun or not I have friends that have pistols that doesn't have a second of a problem with their pistols and they love them. And I have friends that haven't had anything but problems with their guns and they almost regret buying Norwich instead of another brand. I still think he somewhat rebrand stuff and sell them for overpricing. I have had a friend buy some of the gear from Norwich. It broke on the very first usage. A webbing gear that they sell made for Airsoft by Airsofter. My friend plays with it for one hour in a normal skirmish and one of the seams breaks and they didn't give him a warranty because they said it was under normal well not normal sub uh, usage but they didn't feel it um, was worth warranty they said it was his own fault not okay Norwich no so I'm very very torn about Norwich I do love the P90 oh my god I love this gun and I'm actually looking at the, uh, what was the name, SSR 36 now, the G36 36 version of his guns because of this damn awesome pre-cooking MOSFET programmable stuff. I do love that MOSFET. So I now I hear you yell, what about the Perun drop-in MOSFET? I have no idea actually and I haven't found enough videos online yet to show me how easy, it, how easy it is. I'm not a good MOSFETter. I do not like installing and soldering miniature uh, electronics. So therefore I bought this factory done. I don't want to have to uh, rebuild my gearbox. I like it as a done package. That's it. So that's why I chose Norwich, and I do not regret getting the SSR 90, no, not one second. But would I recommend anyone else getting any other Norwich gun? It's up to you. Take a gamble. He does seem to still have a very wonky quality checking, unfortunately. But many of the problems you seem to be able to fix yourself, so if you know that you are a good airsoft taker go ahead as I said the hop up is just pure laziness from my side but the gen 2 here shot like a fucking laser I loved it so here I had the fortune of getting a good hop up 
So yes, Novich, you and I, well, me against you, are a true love-hate relationship. You do have some really great innovations, I must give you that. I do like that, I do like the innovations, I do like the ideas, I do like the ergonomics, and I love much of the um, new styling of the guns that you reiterate, a, a normal a normal high cap uh, 5.1 in your version is so sexy, I have to give you that. But would I like to own it? Or rather say, would I like to buy it for my own money? I actually don't know. I think I would buy it second hand. Or perhaps uh, have it gifted to me. But would I mm, put my own money in a brand new one? No, I don't think so actually so um, sorry not sorry but if you're thinking about the get, getting the SSR 90 freaking yes so th this is a really weird review and I can finish off hopefully finish off <laughs> it's been a long one with mentioning that I actually approached Novich uh, through the web page and I wrote to them and said that I am going to buy the Gen 2 with all the uh, pink accessories. And I asked them, can I have any kind of discount? Uh, and I told them, very honestly, I will do a pure honest review on it. Um, even if they would have given me a ma massive discount and asked me to, oh, can you please say some good stuff about it? I would still be just brutally honest as I am right now. But they didn't give me a discount, but they did give me uh, free shipping. Fine, free shipping is still free shipping. But that's the only thing they have given me for this. Um, they're a straight up company. I won't fault them for that. And they didn't try to buy my review, neither. They just didn't even seem to care. So, um, this is my brutally honest review of the SSR90, maybe finally signing out. Or maybe I'll just add something a little bit. Like for example, the magazines. Maybe I can find the magazine at home and uh, film just one little more trinket, just one tiny little waffle, as Monty Python once said. So, with this very weird review going out, um, this is Call Sign Rainbow signing off. Thank you for watching this uh, very long video. I hopefully can cut it down a little bit. But we'll just see about that, won't we? Love you. Bye bye.